Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new NVIDIA app that is available, of course, also for Windows 11. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get it and what is new inside this latest NVIDIA app that they've released as a beta. And the purpose of this app is to basically combine the GeForce experience and the old NVIDIA control panel into one. So I think this has a lot of potential, but of course, we're going to talk about everything that there is to know in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, you can get the NVIDIA app from the official NVIDIA.com website. And basically, you're going to have also this in the article below if you're interested. And here, you're going to find more info about the NVIDIA app. You're going to be able to get the latest NVIDIA drivers, optimize games and applications, also a new unified GPU control center. You're also going to be able to capture games and other stuff using the recording tools. And of course, I think this is great. But now let's click on the green button and get the NVIDIA app. After you open it, the installer will start, of course we have this loading screen and now we have to accept the license terms and after the installation is finished we're going to notice that the nvidia app will be opened up and here you're going to have to select a preferred driver game ready driver this is for gamers and nvidia studio driver for creators who are using editing software rendering software and more but in my case i'm just going to select game ready driver click on next and here you can select to optimize games and creative applications if you leave this turned on you need to know that some games that you already have installed will have their settings completely redone by nvidia so if you don't want nvidia to play around with your settings just deselect this in my case i'm just going to leave it enabled click on next and we can also enable the nvidia overlay if we want which will allow us to record replay and more but let's just click on done and see how the app looks this is how the app looks one thing that i like about this app is that it has a very intuitive and simple interface at least for now because nvidia said that they will introduce more settings and more functions also from the geforce experience app and also from the old nvidia control panel so until then we have a pretty simple simple interface into this app and also another thing is that you don't need to necessarily log in with an nvidia account and i think that is also pretty nice because on the geforce experience for those of you who are using nvidia graphics cards you know that you had to log in now on the home page you have here some news library with your installed games and apps and also discover things such as geforce now nvidia broadcast and more if you go to the driver section you're going to have the same section as in geforce experience where you're going to get the latest game ready driver and from here you can select if you want the studio driver or the game ready driver and I think that is pretty nice and of course as you can see we have here an update we can check again for updates and the latest version is 551 you can download it and install it I'm not going to install it right now because it could interfere with my recording software but of course I'm going to do the update after this video if we go into the graphics section we have a lot of options related to program settings and also global settings this is something from the old NVIDIA control panel so for example let's say I have a game here you can select it and we're going to have driver settings and also in-app settings and what you're going to notice is that for certain games you're going to have even settings that are only available in the game for example i tested with minecraft in here you had options such as the particles the rendering distance and more i think that is pretty nice and of course you have the driver settings with the known settings if you want me to make a video let me know below in the comments below about the best settings that you can use for gaming i think that could be an interesting video but let me know below in the comments if you want to see a video like that from me and in global settings you have of course the global settings such as the rtx hdr CUDA gpus image sharpening and more of course i'm going to have to play around with the settings because i think there are also some new settings and maybe i'm going to make an in-depth video about some of the best settings that you can use inside the nvidia app for gaming and for general use of windows in the redeem section you can redeem a coupon code if you're interested and in the settings section you have your gaming rig information operating system graphics card display cpu ram storage and other settings for example the nvidia overlay the drivers if you want to automatically download drivers games and apps let's also check out the nvidia overlay and see if anything is different and as you can see I think it's pretty different right now. It opens up as a slider in the left side and we have the record section, instant replay, screenshot, photo mode, highlights and game filter. And I think the options are pretty much the same only the overlay looks different. I think this is pretty good. We also have the settings section with um, shortcut controls, setup display, notifications, audio, video capture. From here you can select different options. I think Nvidia has done a pretty good job but of course you have to keep in mind that this app and this overlay is still in the beta development process so you're going to encounter maybe bugs, maybe crashes here and there but i think overall it has a lot of potential and this new app from nvidia that promises to combine the geforce experience app and also the old control panel is a pretty good idea and hopefully nvidia will improve it even further so this was the video about the new nvidia app that you can test out i'm looking forward to seeing your opinion in the comments below about this new nvidia app if you've tested it if you did please let me know in the comments what you think about it if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this
this one. That was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.